Hi guys, I've got a request from Applejack Productions to do a Mini Cooper with LED lights under the car. Well, as it happens, I've got a radio controlled Mini Cooper that I picked up in a charity shop a while ago. Uh, I don't know if the camera will pick that up cost me two pounds in Click Sergeant, which is a charity for children with cancer. So that's half the job done. Got a Mini Cooper already. There's quite a few ways we can put LEDs underneath it. There's some very lazy ways. I think I've had these uh, in my stock for over a year now. It's multicoloured LED lights, the uh, sort of thing you put in Christmas decorations or birthday decorations or anything like that. They don't flash or anything, they're just on. They come with a battery pack, you put two AA batteries in it, it's got an on off switch, and I could uh, very easily put that underneath. I've actually taken the screws out of it already. There's plenty of room inside, but in fact there's plenty of room underneath here. I could just use some double-sided tape, stick the battery pack there, and stick the LEDs around it. And that'll give us multicoloured lights underneath. Been in the bargain store today, 99p store, it's getting near Halloween, and I picked up this set of lights. It's only eight LEDs. It says ultra bright LED. It's exactly the same sort of thing as that. There's a battery pack in there, and some plastic skulls with LEDs in them. So that would do the same job. I was rather hoping I could find some blue ones, but um, I picked these up because I thought they were blue, but I'm not sure if they are. They may just be white ones, um, but the picture looks a bit blue. And then the other option, which would be a bit more fun, would be to use this, which is a bicycle light. I had a quick look in the bargain store today, and they're still available, but they're a different shape. I bought this one probably two years ago and I use it for various things. The advantage of this one is it has various different settings. So we got on, we got flashing, we got a different flash and then we've got this sort of motion flash. Uh, slightly faster and much faster. Back to a slow flash and off. So that would be quite easy to use. What we've actually got is a little circuit board there that's got six LEDs on it. I could desolder those LEDs, put wires on them, and then feed those wires out to various places under the car to give a rather fancy effect. So that might be a bit more involved. I'll do the simple mod first, just to give us a Mini Cooper with LEDs underneath it. And then I'll think about doing something like this to give us a rather more complicated version. I could link it up so it works off the batteries that are in the car already. But the simple modification is just to use the battery pack that comes with them. So that's what I'll do first. I'll just do probably this one and just use some double-sided tape or something to 
stick it on underneath and then we'll just video it working in the dark. First thing we'll do is see what colour these LEDs are. Plain white, that's a shame. So I was rather hoping they might have been blue going from the picture on the box, but that'll do. So say there's plenty of room under here for me just to stick it on. And then we'll just arrange the LEDs. We've got eight of them, so four on either side, and that should do the job. The idea of using hot glue is so we can get it off again quite easily. top back on and see if we can find a dark room to try it out. have a problem with grip here, don't we? But the lights work, so no problems there. So there we go, that seems to work fine. What we might do though is a version 2 with fancy flashing lights instead, but I'm not sure when I'll be able to fit that in.